G'day, it's Ralph here from Video Prop Converter, and today I have some exciting news to share with you. Digiati Software has announced the release of Video Prop Converter 5.0. Five. Yes, the main update on version 5.5 being a focus on video compressing, adding a time-saving compression tool to the toolbox. Now, this new tool simplifies the process of reducing video file sizes. So you'll be able to simply enter a target file size or adjust the compression ratio slider to achieve your desired outcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how this main difference works. The previous version of Video Proc Converter 5.4 offers six methods of compressing, transcoding, adjusting the GOP, lowering frame rate, reducing bit rate, lowering resolution, and adjusting the audio. And of these six ways, transcoding is the easiest to use. For instance, if you wanna convert H.264 to a HEVC, it only takes three steps. Just input your video, select the profile you want, and export your new video. In most cases, transcoding the video can shrink your file size by at least half, based on our testing. The other five methods all involve adjusting the parameters of a video, which requires some compression knowledge. Different compression methods are suitable for different scenarios, and you can watch our past videos to learn more. Video Proc Converter 5.5 offers seven ways to compress a video to a smaller size by adding a seventh independent compression tool, making it more efficient to simply compress a video to a specific size limit for social media or other video share platforms like YouTube or TikTok or Discord. The new video compression tool is intuitive and automatic and time-saving, allowing anyone from beginner to pro to easily compress a video as the compression interface allows you to input the desired target file size directly. The other day I videoed some sharks attacking a bait ball just down the road from where I live. I was using my drone and I ended up with a five minute video which is 5.2 gigs. But if I wanna put it on Instagram, I need to reduce it to below 650 meg. So I just import my video, I open up the compressed dashboard I enter 650 megabytes, I press enter in the file size column of the tool and let the software do the rest. The other option is I can just drag the slider to adjust the value anywhere from 10% all the way up to 100% to reduce the video size by percentage. And this is the result. It's now 650 megabytes and this is what it looks like. I'll skip to the exciting part for you. In addition, version 5.5 has improved the output file size for functions like video transcoding. So make sure you check out the full details through the link in the video description below. That's it for me today. If you love what we do, please give this video the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we really, really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Bye.